Hey, what's going on, people? I hope you guys are doing good. Typically on this channel, I cover a lot of expensive flagship phones. But today, I partner with Techno to showcase a phone that's under 200 bucks. This is the Spark 9 Pro, and we're gonna spend the entire day using it. So before we dive too much into this phone, I wanna talk about battery life because this phone has a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, which is the same size battery that's in the Sony Xperia 1 Mark IV and the Galaxy S22 Ultra. So the battery life on this should be legendary. So I'm gonna do a quick check on the battery life. So it's almost 1135 and we're at 97%. And we'll check back in throughout the day and of course at the end of the day to see what the drain is like. So now let's talk about the design of the Spark 9 Pro. And I honestly think that for a sub $200 phone, this phone feels great in the hand and it looks really high in. It's mostly made of plastic, but the plastic on the back is very resilient to fingerprints and it feels great because it has a matte texture. The top part around where the camera bump is, is made of glass. Techno calls this the dual ring galaxy design. And I think it has a nice pop to it and it looks really high in. It has a squarish or boxier design similar to what we've seen on current flagships. It features a headphone jack, which is something you don't see on flagships, and they include headphones in the box. Plus, you get a micro SD card slot. You even get a fingerprint scanner that doubles as a power button. So you're getting a lot of great features for a phone in this price range. Techno even includes a case inside the box to protect the Spark 9 Pro, and you also get a pre-installed screen protector. So I know that I said that Techno includes earbuds inside the box, which is great if you want to take advantage of that 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. However, they also have their own little ecosystem, such as wireless earbuds. These are the Techno HiPods H3, and they're around 30 bucks, and you get a lot of cool features for the money. The HiPod H3 wireless earbuds include this charging case, which also acts as a protective travel case. It has a 350 milliamp hour battery inside, when combined with the earbuds, you get over 12 hours of use, and the earbuds themselves get over four hours of use. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them in my ear real quick. So this is the right one. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. And you can see this is what it looks like when it's in ear. The H3s are pretty comfortable once they're in ear, and they sound pretty good. It just depends on the tip that you fit. Make sure you pick out the silicone tip that is appropriate for your ear canal because you want a nice tight seal in your ear to get the most bass if that's what you're looking for. What's crazy is for wireless earbuds that are around 30 bucks, you get three stages of ANC. You get ANC on, ANC off, and a transparency mode. You'll know exactly what mode you're in because the LED ring around the earbuds themselves will glow a specific color. For instance, blue is ANC on, no LED is ANC off, and then orange is transparency mode. I really like whenever I open up the earbuds or when I'm connecting them for the first time, you'll get like a little pop-up on the phone. So it should pop up right there and it gives me my battery life as well as whether or not I want to use them right now. So this just shows you how their little ecosystem works and how everything is, um, you know, unified. I think it's kind of cool. So yeah, that was a quick look at the H3 wireless earbuds. I think as a pair with the Spark 9 Pro, this is pretty awesome. Or even as a standalone budget pair of wireless earbuds, they do a pretty good job. So I'm going to drop a link in the description if you feel like checking them out. It's, um... It's about 1.30. I'm gonna go ahead and get some lunch because I'm starving. But before I do that, let's go ahead and check in with the battery. So here's a quick check-in. It is 1.37 p.m. and we are at 89%. So in roughly about two hours, a little bit more than two hours, we've lost less than 10%. So we're about to go get some ramen real quick, but I quickly wanted to talk about one feature on the camera, which is the front-facing bokeh mode. It's only in 720p, but I gotta say, the actual subject detection works pretty good. I mean, I'm pretty impressed with the, with the subject detection. I think it actually looks not bad at all, but um, we're gonna go get some ramen and we're gonna continue with this camera because that's the next thing we're gonna talk about. So believe it or not, this $200 phone has a really interesting camera system. On the back, we have a 50 megapixel main camera, and then two more cameras that assist that camera at getting better photos. So we have an AI camera and then a bokeh camera. On the front, we have a 32 megapixel selfie camera, and inside the app, there are a lot of really cool features. So 
Let's talk about those now. So inside the camera app, the main mode is the AI cam. And the AI cam is really cool because it uses the AI camera on the back in conjunction with the 50 megapixel to determine your subject. So like right now, you can see it says HDR backlight. If I point it over here, it says street view, HDR. If I point it up at Dennis, this is a really weird angle for me. You can see it says portrait and HDR. And when you take the photo, so I'm gonna go ahead and snap this picture it's actually gonna use AI to process it differently to give you a better looking photo. Now, let me go in and turn off HDR and then point it over here and then snap the photo. You can see there is a difference. Look at the sky, this is no HDR. And then now look at the sky with HDR. Up at the top, we have our HDR like I just showed you. You have your flash. You can turn on a 50 megapixel mode if you wanna get the most the sensor has to offer, and you can really crop in with 50 megapixels. Here's a couple examples of that, and you can see just how much detail is resolved in that 50 megapixel shot. If you don't wanna use 50 megapixels, it uses a bend mode to give you better compression for like low light and things like that. You can switch up your aspect ratio by tapping on four by three, so you can do one by one, full, or four by three and you have different filters that you can choose from. Before we dive out of AI cam, there's a few things that we need to talk about when it comes to the front facing camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch to the front. And right off the bat, you can see the AI is still working. So it's saying HDR portrait and backlit. So that's really cool. And we can toggle on and off HDR. We also have a flash. This is something that's really unique to this phone. I've never seen this on any other phone, I don't believe. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong down in the comment section, but. This actually has a dedicated flash on the front. So if I turn it on here, you can see there is a flash located up here in the top right. And then the actual screen will flash as well, giving you like a ring light. So you're getting like a double flash. I'm gonna go ahead and toggle that off. Now next to HDR, we have the 32 megapixel shot. So you can take full advantage of that sensor if you want to. Otherwise, if you don't, you can just toggle that off and then that's gonna give you a bin shot. So here's a quick shot of the 32 megapixel camera. And I'm gonna go ahead and toggle it off. And you can see how much detail is maintained whenever you shoot in the 32 megapixels. You also have different aspect ratios and filters on the front facing camera as well. In terms of modes, there are quite a few modes, including short video, which gives you like templates to choose from if you wanna get like a special look to your video, like disco, things like that. I mean, there's a lot to choose from. You also have your regular video mode, this phone can record video in 720p, 1080p, and 2K. Some other modes that I wanna go over include beauty mode. So if you want to really soften your skin or do things with your physique, you could do all of that inside of beauty mode. They have a lot of really cool things in here like the ability to slim down your waist and stuff. You can slim down your cheeks, you can smooth out your skin. I don't really do a whole lot of beauty stuff, but um, if you're into that type of thing, they do have a dedicated mode for it and you might find it useful. They have a portrait mode, which works with the rear facing camera and the front facing camera. And I gotta say the results are pretty good. Just take a look at these examples for yourself and let me know what you think of the portrait mode on the Spark 9 Pro. I think that the results are quite surprising given the price point of this phone. It really did take me by surprise. And we also have super night mode. And this is actually really interesting because I haven't seen this on a budget phone before, but you can get really good or really clean night shots. So here's a couple examples of regular versus super night. And you can see there is definitely a difference, a much brighter photo when using super night mode. To get to all the other modes, you're just gonna swipe up and you can see we now have access to AR shots, panorama, a document scanner, slow motion, and of course, time-lapse. So a lot of features crammed into this camera. And I gotta say the performance itself is not bad whatsoever. So now it's time to talk about the performance and specs of the Spark 9 Pro. So this phone is rocking the Helios G85 processor. This is more or less an entry level processor. However, you could definitely do some casual gaming. I was able to play Grim Valor on this phone without any skip frames, overheating, or any stutters. It actually played back really smoothly and it surprised me. To go along with the processor, we have four gigabytes of RAM. And thanks to Android 12 being on this phone, we can also assign virtual RAM up to three gigabytes if you're ever in a position where you need a little bit more RAM. In terms of storage, we have 128 gigabytes, but as I mentioned previously, this this can be expanded with micro SD cards. Basic everyday stuff like checking emails, browsing the web, checking social media, or looking through your Google Now feed is going to be just fine on this phone. 
Speaking of gaming, we have a 6.6 inch Full HD Plus display, and I have to say, this display has really surprised me. It gets nice and bright. As you can see, we are outside. I'm not under direct sunlight, I am in the shade, but look how bright this display is. Let me go to my home screen. You can make out everything on the display perfectly, and I have to say for a 1080p panel, it is really sharp. The blacks get nice and inky, and the whites get nice and bright, so the contrast ratio is quite good. It is only 60 hertz, so if you're looking for something that has 120 hertz refresh rate for gaming, this may not be the phone for you, but based on everything that I've done so far on this phone, including gaming, it's been a great experience. It has a teardrop notch, Techno calls this a dot notch. In my opinion, it's far less intrusive versus some of the other notches on other flagship phones. Before I wrap up this video, I wanna do one more final battery check. So it's 620, close to 630, and we are at 66% battery. So in seven hours, we drained around 30% of our battery. That's not bad at all. So this is easily an all day phone, and it could probably get you into a second day so I would say that the battery endurance on this phone is really good. And that's thanks to the Helios processor and the full HD display. All right, so let's wrap up this video. I remember back in the day, 200 bucks would get you a terrible smartphone. It would have an awful display, the battery life would be like two hours, and it would have a potato for a camera. And not to mention the lag. Now 200 bucks can get you a solid phone. It has a great display, a solid camera, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, a micro SD card slot, and Techno has their own little ecosystem so you can pick up a pair of wireless earbuds for around 30 bucks and have a great little combo here. So you're getting a great value for this phone. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider giving this video a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos just like this. Let me know in the comment section what you think of the Spark 9 Pro and I'll see you beautiful people in the next one.